Got an update for you on a story that pulled on heartstrings. Police officers told us that a dog was abandoned in a pickup truck. No food, no water for several days. Our Julia Fellow is live from Maddox, where the dog was taken, and has a heartwarming update for us on this story. And Julia, this story really hit a nerve with our viewers. It really did. We got a lot of responses, and actually one of our viewers came in to check out Duke and ended up adopting another dog. And I've already given away the surprise, Vincent Susan. He's right here. And Maddox has officially named him Duke. He came here without a collar, and we didn't know anything about him. But in case you haven't heard Duke's story, last Monday we spotted police rescuing him at South 17th and National. A concerned caller told officers he was abandoned inside there for at least four days. Very hard to hear there. Parking tickets on the windshield show the vehicle had sat there since Saturday. Duke was in there for so long, police said that he had no food or water and even soiled the driver's seat. Since he's been here at Maddox, they found a lot more about him. They think he's about three years old, already knows the command sit, and is perfectly healthy. And he just passed his temperament test with other dogs and is ready to go to a loving home. We want somebody who is going to give him enough time and enough exercise so he's a happy guy because he's the kind of guy who's going to want to go out and play a lot. Um, we're looking for someone who's going to spend a lot of time with him because dogs love to be with their people. And we want someone who is committed to him for, for life. That's Kathy Schillinglaw who is with us now, keeping Duke very calm this morning. You can see he's wagging his tail. Duke's previous owner never came forward, and we tried to make headway at least to find the owner of the vehicle that he was found in, who we are not naming. I knocked on that person's last known address and found the person doesn't live there anymore, was evicted, and the phone numbers that I found are now disconnected. So Duke is now the property of Maddox, is up for adoption right now. So you can find a link on how to adopt him and a lot of photos at TMJ4.com right now where we have the story. Reporting live from Maddox, Julia Fellow, today's TMJ4. Back to you, Vincent Susan. All right, thanks, Julie. And a lot of people who first saw this story did have questions over what exactly the policy is for parking checkers who see an animal alone in the car. Yeah, what can you tell us about that? I know you were looking into that. We were, and we checked with the Department of Public Works. They haven't gotten back to me, so I dug into the animal ordinances of what happens when a dog is found in a parked car. And there's only two city workers that can actually break into a car and save an animal. That is a firefighter or a police officer. But Maddox says, and Dr. Gutting, who I interviewed at the beginning, they're so great here. They said, if you see any animal left in a car for an hour or more, it shouldn't be in there. And Duke was in a very cold car. And again, those parking tickets, the police officers looked at it and they showed me that car had been parked there since at least Saturday. So we're so happy to share this ending. And he's perfectly healthy, Vincent Susan, and ready for adoption. Come on down. <laughs> All right. Excellent follow up. Thank you, Julia.